texture a complete 3D scene with one prompt. Hello my friends, how are you doing? So this year is already starting amazing with a big bang blast off as a plugin where you can create textures in Blender with stable diffusion. This was suggested by Cybergem inside of my Discord community, link below. We already have 2200 members, absolutely mind blowing. Thank you for everybody who is in there. Now let's have a look here at the project. This is a post on Twitter and the project as you can see here is by Carson Catry. And what is happening here is that the 3D software Blender is creating a depth map and this is being used with stable diffusion to create the basis for a prompt render. This is why when you look at the shapes here of the house, they fit so well from that perspective. But what you can also see in that video is that this is basically a texture projection onto the shape. This is why when you see the rotation that the building is also behind the texture on the ground in the grass. Now this might only be partially useful, but keep in mind that in games often you see a scene just from one side, because for example you have a linear level or you have an isometric graphic where the camera is just wiggling a little bit to the left or the right, but you don't really go behind the object. So this is still amazingly powerful. When you go to the GitHub page of that project, you have different guides here. And as you can see, this works for Windows, Mac and Linux. So when you click here, you can see that there is a description on how to download and install this for Blender. Blender, as you might know, is a very professional and completely free 3D software that you can download and install right now. And of course, there's tons of tutorials online to learn how to use that. On top of classic 3D modeling, Blender can also be used to render scenes with a lot of very nice tools. It can be used for sculpting, which means that you create a 3D model in the same way you form clay with your hands. So this is more intuitive for traditional artists. But you can also use it for animation, for rigging, for story artists, for VFX, for video cutting, for photo editing, and of course for creating textures and even simulations. So there's a lot of stuff to explore. On top of that, I also want to suggest to you to check out pages like TurboSquid or Sketchfab, where you can download different 3D models. And of course, on YouTube, you will find thousands of free tutorials to learn Blender in no time. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.